Uh, good afternoon uh, to the Commission and uh, thank you for this opportunity to, to, uh, to speak to you this afternoon. Um, my name is Derek Robinson and I'm president of an organization called Freedom from Covert Harassment and Surveillance. And I represent uh, many of uh, the people that are in this room today as well as hundreds of those across the, con across the U.S. Uh, and millions, uh, many thousands uh, across the U.S. who are not in our organization who are being targeted with, without their knowledge. As well as those worldwide, millions, uh, thousands, uh, speaking of thousands of, of people here uh, in China who sent me their statement to give to you. Uh, I've heard a lot uh, this, uh, this afternoon about um, about uh, IRBs, about uh, ethics uh, versus, uh, um, I'm sorry, my, my thoughts aren't coming together right now. But anyway, but um, what we want to express to you is that human experimentation by this government is happening today. That there are many thousands of people, whether they are realizing or not, are being affected. And that... Um, that we would like to express to you that uh, this is a situation that needs to be addressed uh, by a, um, a task force, by a commission, because we are, we are not hearing, because this, uh, this, the government is not hearing from those who are being uh, victimized by, this, by the experimentation. Um, what you are speaking about tonight is very relevant in terms of those who are um, being experimented on um, but what about uh, feedback from those who um, are being experimented on, who have no place to go, who need, who need a voice, who are suffering like these people here, who are suffering like those across this country. Uh, there are the, what you're hearing tonight is just a, a minuscule amount of what I hear on a daily basis. This is a widespread government program that is non-consensual, that is affecting many, many thousand, and it's growing daily. And it, the, the commission, I would hope, would express to Barack Obama that non-consensual, federally funded human research programs are, on, are going on and need to be addressed. And also the victims of those programs need a way to file a complaint, to talk to a commission, to talk to a task force. Sandra Lewis, and a targeted individual from Baltimore, Maryland. Um, my story um, may sound disjointed. I'm trying to keep it within the minute and a half. I worked as a legal secretary at Hogan and Hartson in Washington, D.C. It is now called Hogan Lovells. Attorney Jan McDavid made a client mistake that she tried to blame on me. I then refused to work for Ms. McDavid. Shortly thereafter, strange and inexplicable events occurred on my job. And after being fired, followed me to my home and to all my travels. Attorney Christopher J. Hagan, formerly of Hogan and Hartson. Mr. Samuel Conrad, he's a retired security administrator of Hogan and Hartson. And Robert Johnston, who is the current firm administration administrator of Hogan Lovells, are responsible for my targeting. I believe to protect Ms. McDavid's reputation, a phone call was made to whom and, and why they did this to me. I, 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 truly just speculate. Gang stalking and harassment was used to implement this non-consensual biotechnology application that is being used on me. I now experience involuntary limb movements. I receive stingings. I get pains to my head, to my abdomen, to my vaginal area, and to my anal area. I am receiving from a language that I read concerning this technology, it is called Medusa, developed by the Navy, is being used on me. I get burning on my lower legs and my ankles. I get ringing in my ears that's uh, pitched. It's like they, they, they pitch it. I get pulsing sensations in my body. I get an electrical current, an electrical sensation that goes up and down through my body and can be uh, isolated to different parts of my body. I get severe tingling on the soles of my feet. I'm almost done. Um, it's almost like being electrocuted, and the first time I experienced this was walking into a bank. Um, I get buzzing sensations on the soles of my feet and individual toes. I also get facial manipulations, just to name a few of the things that happen to me. I feel as though I am being roboticized. 
Um, these are very strange occurrences, and I would like for all the targeted individuals in this room to stand up and to show yourself. Um, my story is similar to a lot Eugenia of there, then. I'm sorry, uh, Eugenia? Eugenia there, then, yes. Uh, everything I've heard from this commission and this panel about ethics, they were um, mostly talk about pharmaceuticals research, but I haven't heard anyone talking about a psychotronic weapon research, a bioelectromagnetic weapon research. Who in this, uh, in this panel are, are familiar with a psychotronic weapon? Raise your hand, please. Who of you know about psychotronic weapons? Any one of you? Psychotronic bioelectromagnetic weapons. Are you familiar with that? Not at all. No? Okay. In, the, in this audience, is anybody familiar with a psychotronic weapon? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. The audience is familiar with that, and I think that in order for a panel or a commission to be able to help this problem and this issue, we'll have to have more knowledge on what psychotronic weapons are. I am physically linked, leashed from my neck to the electromagnetic power of, the, of one of the weapons that is being used against me. I get tortured day and night. At night it's with nightmares and all kinds of dreams that I don't want in my head. And throughout the day it's my body. They prod with my neurological system so they do anything to my body. Sometimes it's painful, sometimes it's, um, it makes me sick. It makes me want to throw up. Sometimes I feel I'm going to have a heart attack. They do all kinds of things like jitter pulsating with the electromagnetic frequencies. They use a program called virtual reality that makes them feel that they are right in there in front of you. And as you know, as you know, electricity travels as fast as the light. And you know how fast that travels, right? How, how fast does it travel? Anybody? 186,000 miles a Very second. Very good. Yes. Hey, this is, uh, I tell you what, though, we, need you, we do need to hear them. Hear so I would appreciate if people. you get more, in, um, more aware and, and read. There is in the Internet, there is all kinds of information now on psychotronic weapons. So that you would uh, Hi, uh, my name is Kevin Canada. And I, I can't say it's a joy to be here because I would much rather be someplace else besides here. Uh, I would much rather be some, not a targeted individual, which I have been for the past eight years. Um, I believe my nightmare started at a VA hospital. Uh, 1998, I got very involved in some political stuff, and I won't go into the details, but I became what's called a targeted individual. And my life has changed uh, unbelievably. Gang stalking, electromagnetic weapons, directed energy weapons. I even, so many people even came in my house and jerry-rigged electricity and I'm being electrocuted on everything. My appliances, I, I've been told that they can turn your appliances into weapons against you. So it's become a nightmare. I think I've been implanted at a VA hospital. I, I, I don't know. I'm trying to figure it out. I know I'm, I'm being watched everywhere I go, surveilled, tracked like an animal. We need help. We need to know, we need to be able to go someplace to find out if we have been implanted, what kind of technology are they using against us. We have done nothing but be, try to get involved, for me to get involved and make this a better country. And for that, we've stepped on some toes, and now we are targeted individuals. And I'm sure most of the people here are innocent and are, are being targeted for reasons they really don't know. So we need your help. And I think the, the suggestion of having a TI on this commission, I think, is a, a great suggestion. We need somebody who knows what's happening to us, helping us. But uh, we, need the, we need the technology to find out if we've been targeted, if we've been implanted. And w because they can get to, these intelligence agencies can get to all, any doctor, they can get to anybody that we see who might possibly help us, lawyers, attorneys, cops, you name it, they use it to harass us and attack us. And we need your help. Thank you, Kevin. Hold on now. Hold on, we're gonna um, hello, everyone. My name is Leslie Crawford. I'm here from the state of Michigan. I wanted to speak about um, biotechnology applications being utilized on my person. I have um, medical reports showing eye damage being done to my eyes. Mm. My eyes does not have a mirror image. I also have nano wiring inside my eyes. 
I have pictures of the actual implants from the eye doctor. Once enlarging the nano implants, you will see a copy of the actual particles in my eyes. I have CAT scans, MRIs, and PETs showing wiring, nano wiring in my head. This is my brain. It's straight from the right side to the left side of my head. I also have implants in my chin, in the chin region on both sides. One side shows a wire, the other side shows the actual implant. Implant particle devices coming down through here. Projectiles of the nanoparticles on the side of my head in large pictures. These crimes is happening in America. This is a domestic problem, not only international. The victims is not being just victimized individually. So I'm Rose Kapinski from Madison, Wisconsin. I know you, you would like to hear a little bit about my story. Often when I'm with people, uh, the perpetrators leave me alone, perhaps, to make it look like it's my imagination. And then often when I am alone, uh, they start hurting me, they start fatiguing me. Um, I wanted to say quickly, um, to help the light bulb go off for you, uh, there's always been a continual... Um, Mysterious missing amounts of billions or trillions uh, uh, in the Pentagon budget, and uh, try to think where that money might be going. There has been a story about, oh, the naughty contractors charging $100 for a hammer. I believe that may be a cover story. Um, I think that, um, as you were saying, uh, I think that. Uh, the contractors for the Pentagon have gotten very proliferative. That's not what you were saying, but you were talking about, you know, shutting down or dealing with uh, egregious or abusive um, situations in research. And I want to say, think about it for a minute. You're, you're very intelligent. You, do you think, in the past, things have gone on. Do you think there is nothing going on right now? Really? Zero? Zero? Zilcho? Come on. That would be foolish. That would be, excuse me, that would be somewhat uh, 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 stupid, I'm sorry. That would be um, deluded. And uh, read Galashek in the name of science to hear about the history. Read current things like Nick Begich, Controlling the Human Mind, subtitle Tools for Political Control or Tools for Peak Performance. And again, I think it's just an issue of money, 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 and Thank it's you. got... Hello, good afternoon. My name is Letitia Peters. I'm Trenton, New Jersey. I spoke last time in March, and since then, yeah. my, my life has, <laughs> has gone downward. And it's a shame that we are Americans, and we just want to be treated like Americans. And we are part of a non-consensual human experimentation, which uses highly advanced electronic technology without our informed consent or knowledge. And we are speaking for thousands of American citizens. We do not want an apology. We want justice, and we want justice now. I am requesting that the Presidential Commission conduct an investigative hearing on non-consensual human experimentation. And I do have credible evidence I'm submitting 1,158 videos and pictures that's been occurring for the last two years. I'm also presenting 10 attachments, which includes my 14-page public comment, plus um, Robert S. public comments, testimonies from um, Queen Ottawa, three pages of testimony from Cindy Goldman. I actually have a 16-page letter from Japan for the Technological Crime Victims Network. 
Also, I have a prayer because we really need prayer. This country needs prayer because so many people have died or lost their lives, and we just want justice. And I just would like to come Is there a woman right behind you? We'll take you all. So why don't we do these last two questions, okay? Okay. Thank you. Um, yes, my name is Liliana Connor, and I have also been subjected to these technologies. I think that the commission is studying the issue of informed consent, and that is a, a right, a human right, that we all should have, even if these are classified operations. All persons should have the right of informed consen consent so that they could either decline participating in such studies uh, or otherwise opt out if, if uh, they are informed at a later date that they have been subjected to, to these studies. And uh, non-consensual experimentation is a total violation of human rights. It should be outlawed, you know, any non-consensual experimentation. People should not have, have to be subjected like this, and, and it would be important if you could recommend to President Obama uh, to, to change the regulation of informed consent to include even classified operations on persons and to outlaw and forever ban any non I'm 59 years old from New York uh, City. Um, I've been a vic victim of ongoing non-consensual human subject experimentation for my entire adult life and possibly may have been a victim since my childhood. I have been targeted with ongoing microwave weapons as well as drugging with neurotoxic contaminants covertly placed on articles of clothing as well as on other personal possessions. I believe my being a non-consensual human test subject is related to the CIA's MKUltra behavior modification program that began in the 1950s. Moreover, after I read a July 1963 CIA MKUltra report that became unclassified in 1994 and emphasized that it would be necessary to test unwitting citizens in their ordinary day-to-day -day activities you can without their knowledge in the final stage of the testing program I believe that I could be one of those many thousands of civilians that were unwittingly tested in the CIA's behavior modification program. <laughs> Getting the government to take action concerning acknowledgement and putting an end to unethical consensual human experimentation that has also been a part of our country's past history is of great concern to me. I believe that there could have been other members of my family that were victims also. And Thank you for your do, do you? We have one. We do have one. Yes. 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 What do you do in this regard, huh? Hold on just a moment. Just, please, please, sir. Why, why don't uh, your name, sir? I'm sorry. Edward. Uh, why don't we? Why don't we? Uh, if we can, if I was just going to say, if I if I would allow some time to let you finish, and if I could indulge, if if the commission would indulge a little extra time in our agenda, will that satisfy your need? Thank you, sir. You have a minute and a half, please. Could we ask other people to... We need others to be seated, though, please. Everyone ask... seated. And I'm sorry. Okay, well, you need the microphone. We need the microphone to you. You have... You were afraid to talk to me. No, no, no. I'm sorry. I had asked you, please, to... Uh, I was happy to give you time in front of the commission... It doesn't sound like that's what you want. Okay, why don't you take the microphone, and we'll give you a minute and a half like everyone else. You need the microphone so we can have a record. 
And please give us your name again. My name is Edward Katz. Edward? I'm from Palo Alto, California. Okay. Calmly, please. Tell, tell, us, tell us your story or tell us your comment, please. Uh, we did send a name, a name of Mrs. Amy Goodman. Okay. A horrifying letter, you know, which has been actually supported by the video statement. Oh, my. Uh, this video statement shows up in acts of physical torture by use of brain implants. All my family received while we moved to Bay Area, California, and settled right next to the uh, Stanford Research, including my children. Two boys. Two boys being implanted in optic nerves and uh, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, uh, Mrs. Barbara Boxer requested headquarters FBI to provide information in this regard. And FBI told us what we are on the experiment. Then in the Department of Justice, Mr. Holder told us what we have to learn how to live with that, with torture, with robbery. And this is on tape. And Mrs. Gottman has this tape. And we beg you so many times, please, call Obama, stop torture. Obama can stop torture. Did you call? Did you call Obama? We're asking you, stop torture, physical torture, please. Yeah, please. We, we can... Inhumane torture. Just take a look at this picture, people. Okay, this is... thank you very much. Especially we came from Soviet Union, we... especially we came from, from, from the communist bloc, you know, here for the freedom and what they did to my it's, it's a It's a horrific, obviously a horrific story. And I, and... I think we can, Val can take it.